friends good morning today we are going to do uh, the third session of cluster vocabulary through through picture based vocab we did earlier two sessions this is our third session and in this cluster we are going to take uh, words which are related to positive actions words which tell you about actions which are quite very positive in nature let us see uh, them which words we are going to deal these are the words which we are going to deal with let us see one by one. First one, acclamation. Now you see there are a number of people standing and applauding there. This is a sign of approval. When people applaud to you, when people stand and await you, this is a sign of approval or uh, uh, people give some kind of uh, like a, uh, yes to you. They say yes, they uh, accept you. So acclamation is a loud and enthusiastic approval. People or anyone who gives you a loud and enthusiastically approval, that is acclamation. Now, uh, let us see the synonyms there. Cheers. We know that we say also cheerleader also. Accolade. Accolade is approval. Accolade is approval. Laudation. Laudation is praise. Now, from this word laudation, we have another word important word eulogy eulogy laudation praise eulogy means a speech or a writing a speech or anything written which is used to praise somebody a written speech or a speech which is given to praise somebody uh, very highly. Generally, this is used for people uh, in the death ceremony. When people die, people they talk uh, very praisefully about them. This is called eulogy. As the word came, laudation, which means praise. That is why I am telling you this word also, eulogy. It means to a written speech, a, a writing which praises highly somebody. Okay. Generally, this is used for, used in the death ceremonies. So, but now nowadays it can be used for other context also. Let us see the antonyms. Silence, disapproval or criticize. Approval, disapproval, criticize, not accepting. So these are, let us see the example. I improved as a player due to the acclamation for my teammates, of my teammates, sorry. Because of the support, because of the approval, because of the enthusiastic approval from my teammates. This is how it goes. See next one. Accolade. The pronunciation is accolade. Next one. Uh, you see, this is a, a sort of ceremony. Ceremony where um, a person's uh, shoulder is being touched by a sword, like this. You can see this. And bestowing of a knighthood. Knight. A knight. Who is a knight? K N I G H T is a brave fighter you say so uh, these persons are called knight we have uh, knight riders kolkata team there see knight uh, the ceremony is called accolade that means again it is a uh, approval no it is like giving approval to somebody it is recognition this is there privilege reward fine what will be the opposite slander slander is to defame Is to defame or spoil uh, somebody's image by talking bad things or doing anything by making fun of. Slander is to defame or spoiling someone's image. Be little. Be little is to minimize or deprecate image. Deprecate someone's image. Deprecate is to minimize. Many minimize someone's image. Be little is to deprecate. Next is contravene. Contravene again is to break or violate. Break or breach is to contravene. Let us see example. The New York Awards are the media industry's highest accolade. Fine. They are the highest one which are being praised. Next, a culture. A culture, you see, this is a beautiful dress. 
a cloth or an equipment, something which is very impressive or very noticeable. Equip, furnish, attire. Attire is used for fine formal clothes. Formal clothes. Like you, uh, you have um, Raymond's, then you have, uh, uh, there are a number of brands which are famous for, uh, you see, fine clothes and formal clothes generally. Such type of clothes are called attire. Like you have um, Armani there, these are fine cloth clothing brands for formal things. Opposite, deprive. Divest. Divest is again deprive or to lessen. Deprive. Dispossess. Dispossess is to generally this also means deprive, but deprive of land or property. Deprive of land or property. To minimize somebody's land or property. This is dispossess. Magnificently a culture, he was led up to higher altar, to higher altar. You see, magnificently dressed or uh, a noticeable dress. Next, approbation. Approbation, this symbol is used to approve. No, we give an approval by showing this the symbol. Uh, we say that yes, I like it or uh, it is approved. So this is, we'll say, approbation is approval or praise again. All these words, we did a few words below, uh, above also. Acclamation, accolade, approbation, these are all synonyms. You can put it into one family. Approbation, approval or praise, admiration, commendation. Be careful, this word, this word is commend. There is another word, condemn. Don't get confused with this one. We'll discuss that later on. Commendation. Commendation means praise or thankfulness. Praise or thanksness. Fine. Next is appreciation. No need to explain. Opposites, disapproval, rejection, disfavor. Example, I need to write a powerful resume to gain approbation from an employer. This is you say to gain approval from the employer. Next, a sog. A sog. Don't pronounce it jer, it is a sog. Make somebody pleasant or less intense. I'll make it simplify. To pacify somebody or some situation. Pacify, we did this word in earlier session. Pacify means to calm down, to calm a situation or pacify a situation. This is how it goes. A song means to pacify. Suppress means something which is very high, you suppress. Suppress means to calm it down. Palliate. Palliate is to make a disease. It is a medical term actually. To make a disease. less severe. Something which is very severe, you make it less severe, it is palliate. Like you have number of um, uh, things which spread out so soon. So make it less like fever, you have a high fever and when you uh, slow it down, you um, calm it down, it is palliate. Same is soothe. Soothing you see? Opposite intensify. Intensify is to provoke. Irritate, again same. Agitate, agitate is to upset. To upset somebody or some situation, again agitate it is. He tried to absorb the guilt of wrongdoing by doing right. Every one of us do this. Next, augment. Augment, you see, it is a uh, magnifier. Magnifying lens is used to expand something or to enlarge something. This is what it is. Augment is to increase or by adding something to uh, enlarge something, extend or raise. I don't need to explain these words. Quite easy. Opposite, reduce, shrink or decrease. 
reading regularly will augment your vocabulary skills. This is what you should also do. You should always keep on reading something or the other which increases your vocabulary and which also increases your um, you know, understanding uh, skill of English. Next, pot stuff. We all have this in our home. A long thick pillow placed under other pillows for support. Now this word, as a noun, it is a pillow. As a verb, it means a support or a supporting thing. Fine. So it can be used in both the contexts. Support, rest, pillow, opposite, non-support or hinder. Hinder is to make something difficult. To make something difficult. That means you are a non-supporter, no? So this is how it is used in opposite sense. Block. Block again, you don't want to support somebody. If I want to feel better about myself, I need to bolster my self-esteem. Bolster means I need to support, I need to uh, give a back to my self-esteem. Here it is used as a verb, na? Next, bonomi. H will be silent there, the pronunciation, bonomi. Cheerful, friendliness and genital. Although Mr. Obama doesn't support anywhere, but he welcomes us very uh, friendly, with uh, very friendly behavior, no? He never support, he never come in support. When you ever, you ask support, he'll support rather Pakistan or any other country. Even China he'll support, but not us. So you see, this is how, but he is cheerful to us, he's friendly to us. There it just goes. Sociability. One only. Sociable, sociable, sociable person, they are always good in nature, they are always friendly in nature, no? We did uh, words related to friendliness in the last session. They are amiable, amicable, affable. All these words, they are related to friendliness. Sociability, good nature or warmth. Opposite, again, unsociability, ferocity. Ferocity is somebody who is very brutal. A nature which is a very brutal nature, or very um, aggressive in nature. Sulky. Sulky is bad-tempered or ill-tempered. It is bad-tempered. As role models, the teachers decided to foster bonhomie among their students, friendliness among their students. Next, casual. The pronunciation is casual, not j sound, it is j. You need to uh, put a sir sound like this. Casual. Persuade to do something by sustained coaxing or flattery. This actually means to convince somebody to do something. I convince you to act according to what I say. This is casual. First word, let us see the synonym. First one, beagle. You will be silent here. Huh? The pronunciation is beagle. Beagle means to attract. Beagle means to attract. Same as the next word, learn. Learn means to attract. Seduce. Seduce, seduction. To uh, convince somebody to do as you want. Generally, this is for your own purpose, for your own profit you do this, okay? Opposite, detract. Right? Then repel or cheapen. You don't uh, uh, convince somebody, you rather let them go. You can easily casual his little boy with a cookie. Every children can go, can be casual with that. Next, calisthenics. This is a technique or a, a verb or an action which is used to like gymnastic, it is an action where people they gymnast or they work out a lot to make their body fit. See, this is called calisthenics. Tenics, sorry, calisthenics. Gym, workout, warm up, opposite, 
idleness, do nothing, sit like this only, inaction, repose. Why? What uh, example is there? Even doing calisthenics, you have to move slowly, the instructor told them. Don't need to explain the words, quite easy ones. Next one. Kami serate. Kami serate. It is like this girl, she is con uh, consoling the other one. This is how it goes. Console. Console means to sympathize or to uh, feel sympathy or show sympathy or pity to somebody. Console. Sorrow for. Compassion. Opposite. Ignore. Neglect. Or scorn. Scorn means make fun of or mock somebody. Scorn means to mock or to make fun of uh, someone. The players commiserated over their loss in the championship game. Next, edify. Edify is to instruct or improve morally or intellectually. This is generally, uh, they are being guiding, no? Teaching, coaching or guidance. Opposite, darken, becloud, obscure. Obscure is unclear, no? Obscure, opaque, they are, which is things which are not clear. Example, during the Soviet period, the chief task of film was always to edify rather than entertain. This is it. During the Soviet period, they used movies to teach rather than to entertain. Next, exult. Exult. Think or speak very high of somebody. Like you are, this person is uh, devoted, he is quite worshipping this uh, uh, idol there. This word should be esteem, not extreme. mistake it has been treated. Esteem. Esteem means quite very uh, a respectful thing, no? When you are very high respect for somebody. You respect highly somebody, it is esteem. Worship. River. Opposite, dishonor, disrespect or condemn. This is what I was talking about. Comment and condemn. Condemn is to attack someone's reputation. Or some, uh, you criticize somebody, that is to condemn. See? None of these things exalted him at all in his own opinion or at any rate, not very much. Hope it is clear. Next, exonerate. Exonerate is to declare somebody non-guilty, to declare somebody free of charges. So, release someone from duty or obligation or guilt also it is used. Duty, obligation or guilt. This is to liberate. You free somebody, liberate. Liberty, remember the word? Liberate, liberty, that means, to, that means freedom. Discharge. Exempt. Exempt means free of charges. Free of charges. No charge, no blame at all. Convict is to blame. Charge is to blame again. Restrain. Blaming. This example is wrong. Uh, ah, yeah. The testimony from the witness will hopefully exonerate my husband of the charges. They will free my husband of the charges. Next, expiate. Expiate is to make amends or reparation. Reparation, now this is a very important word here. Reparation means to pay penalty. Reparation is the word which is used to pay penalty. Uh, like we have word war reparation. War reparation like uh, after first world war germany was made to pay war reparations
for the loss, for uh, being a part of the uh, First World War, for starting or initiating the First World War. And in the second one also did, of course. Still, uh, like in the First World War, Germany was made to pay war reparations by the U.S. Uh, by the uh, aligned parties. Synonym, redeem. Redeem is to compensate. Redeem, compensate. Same it is, reparate. Purge is clearance. Redress is correct. To uh, correct, rectify your mistake. No, correct. Opposite, forfeit. Forfeit is not opposite. It also means to pay penalty. It should be rather a synonym. It is synonym, not antonym. Antonym is lose or worsen. You are making something extremely bad. This is worse enough. Forty, uh, forfeit is to pay penalty, which is equal to reparate or compensate. The boy gave his younger sister a cookie to expiate for stepping on her doll's head. How funny it is. Next, expurgate. Remove, uh, it is the symbol delete. This is how it goes. Deletion, removal of objectionable thing, which is generally easy to remember by this word sensor. You have sensor board also, no? Sensor board, what work it does? Sensor board is there to remove things which are objectionable in a movie or in any sort of books. Like Sanman Rashid's, most of the books are uh, censored always, no? You always write something which is objectionable. So it is censored. Movies, so many movies, they are so objectionable scenes or a uh, number of other things which are objectionable there. So censor board there, what it does, it removes, it deletes the objectionable things from there. Edit, same way, sanitize. Sanitize is to make it pure or make it, uh, in, uh, to remove the impurities. No? Opposite, permit, allow, admit. They felt it was necessary to expurgate his letters before publishing them, to censor his letters, to edit his letters, or to sanitize his letters. Next, exult. We did a word earlier, exult. This is exult. They are moving in joy, you see. Show or feel trimpant elation or jubilation. Trimpant is a very uh, positive feeling with uh, to enjoy or to exclamate a lot. Jubilation again means to rejoice. Jubilation, rejoice. What are synonyms? Cheer, celebrate, glory, don't need to explain them. Opposite, grieve, to express huge sorrow or very mourn. Mourn is a, like a, it is a stronger way to show grieveness, no? When somebody cries by making high noises after death, generally ladies, they do things, such things. Then see, again, same thing. Next, palisade. Palisade is to make someone less angry or less hostile. That means you can say it is pacify somebody, you know, to calm down someone. So what I can say, assault, yes, see, there the words are. Satisfy, assault, pacify, we did this words earlier. Agitate, agitate is to provoke again, aggravate, incite, incite a fire, incite a anything, anything. They attempted to palisade the students with promises. Next. Remonstrate. Remonstrate is to, like this uh, number of players in every game, every uh, day, you find people, they are protesting against the decision in a uh, reproachful manner or any forceful manner, see, complaining, scolding or reproach. Opposite, surrender, yield or conquer. Conquer is to agree. See? 
The football players have all signed a petition to demonstrate the firing of their beloved coach. Next one, solicit. It's a very you know, horrible condition. This is you are giving uh, somebody, that means this person is begging to you, you know, he's asking something for you. Ask or try to obtain something from somebody. To beg, to crave, beseech. These are very strong words. Beseech is a very strong word. It means exactly to cry and uh, like uh, to beg for a very, to beg in a very uh, intense way, you see. This is beseech. And antonymous refuse, reject or avoid. She began to solicit contributions from her friends and saved her pennies. See, 